When you guys first met and you knew what kind of roles that you had to play for a film like this, how do you set up this bond that we see on the screen? Because it was so natural and I'm just curious, did you spend some time prior and, and, and how did you kind of create it? Yeah, I mean, they are like so close to each other that we really had to create that sort of like, you know, just like being comfortable with each other. And so we went out to, we went to the zoo. Uh, uh, like uh, before shooting and we just had a, a fun day out just getting to know each other and we also actually went to a theme park as well and we went on a roller coaster and everything. <laughs> when, when you kind of have to kind of play this role of a m mother, and it's a, does, does the maternal kind of come naturally for you or is it because Lewis is so awesome that you kind of, it was so easy for you to kind of take on? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's maternal but we found playing Lizzie and Connor that they're they're like friends. There's there's a closeness in age and Lizzie's a single parent so and sometimes they're brother and sister so their relationship it, it constantly changes and so and not, it didn't feel right to play a kind of authoritarian parent figure. They were they were much, much closer than that. How does it add to the experience to work with somebody like Bayona to, to kind of to because he, I feel like he's a, he's a child himself, and he, you know, I'm just curious. How do you? How does that help you with your performance when you have a director like him? Oh well, he's great. I mean, he's also like very in touch with like the art and like the drawing aspect of the film. You know, he's he's very into all of that, and so he would often, you know, be drawing on on set, and and so having, you know, he was very very like uh, close with the film, and I think him being like that was, was really helpful. Does it, as, as actors, obviously you, you appreciate art in a very specific way because it's an out, outlet for a lot of times. And so do you understand how your character will, and even your character to a certain extent, how they um, go through this grief that they are, but through maybe not saying the words, but they actually use visuals to kind of talk about it. Can you, can you describe that? Well, neither of them want to really admit what's happening and, and they're so, there's there's so much love between all of them that the the easiest thing is just to pretend none of it's happening and to and to avoid it. So it's it's really the monster which is ultimately through art that um, without sounding too kind of highfalutin uh, that um, that that Connor and all of them learn to embrace the difficulty and and ultimately let each other go. Um, you actually got to play with you know, items that were like the monster. Like, what was it like to kind of be in a situation where there are huge sets and kind of, was that, did that add to your fantastical kind of, like, did it add to your imagination and allow um, you to? Oh, yeah, obviously, like, they made that, they made a massive, like, head of the monster that could move and everything, and they had a, and they had a hand of the monster which would pick me up, and so just having all that, it really helped me, like, imagine what the monster would be like, and, like, you know, just, like, sometimes I would, even forget that it wasn't real, you know what I mean, and it just get lost in it. Last question, how did, do you feel like, what do you think audiences are going to get, adults especially, will get when they watch something like this? Do you feel that they're going to be able to kind of tap into like an essence of, of something like loss and all that kind of stuff when they watch a film like this? Yeah, we'd, we'd hope so. I, it, it feels, the film is so honest because it's saying, you know, life doesn't work out how you expect and pretty awful things happen and how do you recover from that and hopefully people get some sort of catharsis and understanding through watching it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!